Hey everybody, it's the Honey Badger, and today we're going to be doing some modifications to the uh, 720. So the gas tank on this is a 19 gallon tank from the factory. Mine, when I fill up, only fills up about 14. There's actually a big dent in mine from a previous owner who did something, I'm not sure, and it's kind of restricted the actual capacity of my fuel tank. Now, I could replace that eventually, and maybe I will, but for the time being, I'm not going to. But something I've always wanted to do, because I think it would look cool and it would just be good to have a little extra with me, is to install an external fuel tank in the 720. So if I ever run empty on the main tank, I can pull this out and fill it up. Maybe when I'm in the backcountry, when I'm exploring, maybe when it's just a really long stretch between gas stations, when I'm out in more rural parts. So we're gonna install that today, give ourselves five additional gallons of gas to bring with us that we always have as a backup. That way we don't run into any problems when we're out exploring. So the only couple things you need really is this mount and holder for the jerry can itself. I'll leave you links to these in the description. Um, I'm gonna be honest too, use the link for this specific can. There are cheaper cans you can get, but a lot of them are very weak. Um, they rust, and this one's just a better one. I've done my research on these actually, and this red one specifically from, I believe it's Midwest Can Company. Theirs is the best one pretty much on the market. Uh, check out these links for sure, but let's get into it. We're gonna find a mounting spot for this, and then we're gonna drill some holes and get this thing in the truck so we can have it filled up, and we're always good to go when we're on an adventure. I think there's a couple of options for where to put this and mount it to have it out of the way. I think there's really only two spots. And the more I think about it, I think there's really only one spot for me that I'm going to actually consider. So the spot I'm not going to consider for my truck is up here in the corner. Now you can take the bracket and it fits snugly up here. And I actually do like the look of it. I think a little bit more than where I'm going to probably end up putting it because I actually like this location. Uh, it's up and out of the way. It's in the corner. It looks like it's meant to be here for the most part. So I actually do like this. The only problem is I'd actually do haul a decent amount of stuff with my pickup and taking up this little bit of space here actually will cause me some problems. So I don't want to lose this um, up here. And one other thing is this truck actually has holes. I don't know if these are from the factory, but I have drilled holes for uh, uh, the bars for the bed. I would love to put some in here. And I cannot have this here if I eventually find some bars for uh, this bed. So if you also know anyone who has some, let me know, because I would love to buy them and I can't ever find them anywhere. So I'd love to find the original Nissan bars, but maybe someday if I ever can get a hold of them. So I can't really put it there for that reason and it's kind of in the way if I use the bed. The other spot though that I'm gonna probably go with is up here. And it's just a matter of putting it just right behind the wheel well, because it's about the same width as the wheel well and then it will be out of the way because the wheel well makes it so you can't really run anything long down the bed anyways uh, because of where the wheel well's at. So this will just sit kind of tucked right behind it. I think it still looks purposeful for the most part. It's a little bit more of a different spot, but then I will still have the full length to use if I have anything down the middle of the bed and I'm running the full length. And like I said, if I ever want to get bars in here, can't have it up there anyways. So it'll be easier to work on too to install because there's nothing in the way here. Down below, obviously, we have things that go with the fuel tank. We have, I think, the pump for the fuel tanks right down there, the fuel filter and other things. So trying to get our hardware up and in there to get this secured also would be more difficult. So if you want to put it there, probably a possibility. I think it's going to be easier here. And if I ever find bars, you know, couldn't have it up there anyway. So let's make some marks and some spots and drill some holes and see if we can get this thing mounted. And there we go. It's all set up and it's in the back of the bed of the truck. It's not gonna go anywhere. 
I just need to get a lock for it. The lock I have is just a little bit too big, so I'll just get a smaller lock for it, but that's not gonna go anywhere, and that's gonna help extend the range of the pickup when we are on the road, and we either are in between gas stations or we just need a little bit of extra when we're off of uh, main roads and maybe in the back backwoods per se. So we're all set up here. I'll leave you links, like I said, in the description to the products used. I had to go to a local hardware store to pick up some uh, hardware to mount it because this doesn't come with any. So I'll leave you either the sizes or I'll find you some links in the description as well that will take you to some appropriate stuff if you're going to be doing this in a 720 or something like that. So um, that's about it. We're all set up here. Make sure you leave a like on the video and you are subscribed so you don't miss future content. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.